1903, Madame Curie won the Nobel Prize for her pioneering work on radioactivity, which she mistakenly considered harmless to humans. We now know that her premature death from a rare blood disease was directly related to her exposure to radiation. Lead was a common ingredient in house paint and other household items until scientists fully understood the deadly effects of lead poisoning. Until the 1980s, the federal government was reluctant to stand up to the powerful tobacco industry, even though millions had died of smoking-related diseases. Let's face it, sometimes we're slow to recognize danger when it's not painfully obvious. And the government is reluctant to take action even after the danger is exposed. Unfortunately, many people suffer and die before we eventually get around to dealing with many potential risks. And in spite of the fact that we have curtailed smoking, regulated harmful pesticides in agriculture, reduced the kind of chemicals we use in food and household products, decreased dangerous toxins that pollute our air. Many diseases are on the rise, including Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and some forms of cancer. Why? Well, many scientists believe we're under assault by another form of common pollution we may have underestimated, invisible, odorless, silent, and potentially deadly. This form of pollution is everywhere. You can't escape it. Electromagnetic frequencies, EMFs, produced by most electrical devices, appliances, and the high voltage power lines that surround us. Electromagnetic radiation, emitted by most wireless devices, and microwaves, the same energy frequencies we use to cook food in microwave ovens. But your microwave oven isn't the only source of pulsing microwave radiation that assaults you every second of every day. Television, telephone, and computer signals are transmitted by microwaves. Even some automatic garage door openers use microwaves to operate. Some environmentalists call this proliferation of EMFs electropollution, and one United States government agency warns that the levels Americans are exposed to every day without even being aware of it may be dangerous. The fact is, you, your loved ones, your children, are exposed to 100 million times more EMFs, electromagnetic radiation, and microwaves than your grandparents. And now, one source of electropollution has become an increasingly integral part of our lives. Up close and personal, the cell phone. In 1993, the first lawsuit was filed against the cell phone industry by a man who claimed his wife's brain tumor was caused by cell phone use, a brain tumor shaped exactly like her cell phone antenna. The resulting publicity prompted the cell phone industry to fund a $25 million study to prove that cell phones were safe. They hired Dr. George Carlo, a highly respected public health scientist, to conduct the research. Dr. Carlo's study was thorough and conclusive, proving just the opposite of what the cell phone companies wanted. In fact, Carlo found a strong connection between cell phone use and brain tumors, neurological disease, and genetic damage. The scientific evidence is mounting daily. Last year, the European Union, using 15 different laboratories, confirmed all of the findings of Dr. Carlo's group. And this may just be the beginning. Like smoking and lead poisoning, the damage from electropollution is cumulative and may take years, even decades, to reveal itself. But every exposure may adversely affect your health. Public health scientists now estimate there are 30 to 50,000 new cases each year of brain and eye cancer directly attributable to cell phone use. Children and teenagers are at greatest risk from electropollution damage because their skulls are thinner, they have more brain fluid, and their bodies are not fully developed. How much time does your child spend on the cell phone every day? And how will the constant barrage of electromagnetic radiation from cell phone use affect your child's health in five years, 10 years, 20 or more years. And if you think using a hands-free set reduces your risk of exposure to deadly radiation, think again.
According to research commissioned by Britain's Consumer Association, conventional hands-free sets may actually increase electric field strengths inside a user's head by three and a half times. It appears that the headset wire acts as a concentrating aerial that attracts and channels radiation toward the head, not just from your cell phone, but from all sources of EMFs, electromagnetic radiation, and microwaves in the vicinity. In a recent study, neurosurgeons at Lund University in Sweden proved conclusively a link between radiation emitted from cell phones and brain damage. Dr. Sheldon Levy, a respected physician and surgeon, has studied the effects of EMF radiation. I have to tell you, it's hard to ignore the data. We must consider the long-term risks of cell phone use. If indeed the effects are cumulative, then young people who are using cell phones at such an early stage in their development run a particularly high risk. But cell phones aren't the only culprit. Scientists have become increasingly concerned about the potential risks involved in exposure to low-level microwave radiation from microwave ovens. Keep in mind, like all forms of radiation, you may not see or feel the microwaves that escape your microwave oven. But don't underestimate the power of this insidious form of electropollution. And there is no escaping this invisible menace. Electropollution is not limited to cell phones and microwave ovens. Home computers, laptops, cordless phones, televisions, refrigerators, hair dryers, coffee makers, even our cars add to the daily accumulation of electropollution that may be pushing us closer to a national health crisis. Do you or your children use a laptop computer or a video game console? Do you use these devices on your lap? Consider this. Scientists are exploring the connection between EMFs from the electronic devices we use on our laps and the astounding 50% increase in testicular cancer over the past 20 years. Studies done around the world have found links between those who work in an environment with high EMF exposure and neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and Lou Gehrig's disease. But it's not just about diseases. Research shows that continual exposure to this onslaught of electropollution disrupts your natural energy levels, triggering an adrenal response, which, in turn, increases stress responses. This constant stress contributes to your energy depletion and fatigue, lack of concentration, poor work performance, and difficulty getting a good night's sleep. Based on the research that I've reviewed, I'm convinced that the chronic exposure to electromagnetic frequencies plays some role in the dramatic increase in stress-related diseases and conditions that we've been seeing. If electropollution is so dangerous, why doesn't the government step in and do something about it? Government officials will tell you that the studies are inconclusive, that they're waiting for long-term human studies to prove beyond a doubt that cell phones and other commonly used appliances, which bombard us continually with radiation, are truly harmful. Can you afford to wait? Are you willing to put your health and the health of your loved ones on the line while the government spends years confirming what so many respected scientists already consider an international health crisis? You don't have to. One company, BioPro Technology, is at the forefront of delivering proprietary technology, utilizing the most advanced scientific discoveries in the fields of bioenergetics and biophysics. It's called Energy Resonance Technology, ERT, and leading experts believe that this technology in product form could revolutionize the way we look at wellness. BioPro Technology is dedicated to helping people not only survive, but thrive in an electro-polluted world. The secret is the energy and information stored in every BioPro cell chip and universal chip, making it small enough to attach to your cell phone and other appliances. It has no moving parts, so it never wears out and never needs to be replaced. Plus, it comes with easy instructions on how and where to apply your BioPro chips to your electronic devices for maximum effect. How can you be sure the BioPro products really work? Just watch. 
take a look at this thermographic image of a person's head while using a normal cell phone. The red areas indicate warming of the fragile head tissue. Now look at the same person's head after using the same cell phone with a BioPro cell chip attached. The difference is amazing. Another way scientists test the impact of aggressive EMFs is to measure your body's stress level. It is generally agreed that healthy human energy levels hover near a reading of 50 relative units. Let's see what happens to your body's stress level when using your cell phone. That healthy energy level quickly spikes to unhealthy levels. Now, let's monitor stress levels when the same person makes a five-minute call on the same cell phone after the BioPro cell chip has been attached. Normal and healthy. The results speak for themselves. The BioPro products are truly amazing, providing you a new level of comfort using the electronic devices you've come to depend on, including your cell phone. Well, I'm so impressed with this company and with the BioPro cell chip that I'm actually using those products for myself and I've um, been giving them to my friends and family members as well uh, because it's certainly made a believer out of me. And now, BioPro offers a safe hands-free set for your cell phone, lab tested to reduce 98% more harmful radiation than a conventional hands-free set. The BioPro hands-free set lets you multitask or drive safely while using a cell phone without worrying about the danger of attracting and concentrating dangerous frequencies. I'm on the cell phone a lot, 30 to 60 hours a month, and I realized I was holding the cell phone out from my ear about an inch or two, and it was because it was bothering me. It was hurting my ear, down my neck and into my shoulder. Well, I got the cell chips, put them on my phone, and 24 hours later, that problem went away. I live on the outskirts of town, so I drive quite a bit. When I'm in the car, I'm always on my cell phone. And since I put the BioPro chips in the car and on my cell phone, I have a lot more energy and I'm a lot more alert and I'm much calmer. You may have heard about other products that claim to block or shield the EMF radiation from cell phones. If these blockers really did block EMF, they would render your cell phone useless. If you really want to address EMF exposure, look to BioPro. The combination of the BioPro hands-free headset, the BioPro cell chip, and the universal chip is the effective and practical way to deal with harmful EMF radiation. My son's friend was recently diagnosed with testicular cancer. I immediately went out and applied the BioPro chips to my son's PlayStation, and now I rest easier knowing he's playing safely. I spend six to eight hours on the computer daily. I put the BioPro chips on my computer, and since then it's been a world of difference. It's really helped me a lot. I've noticed by the end of the day, I'm happy, I'm energetic, my shoulder isn't bothering me, and I'm ready to continue into the night. Cell phones, computers, and other electronic marvels have improved the quality of life all over the world. They're here to stay. But you shouldn't have to compromise your health to enjoy the benefits of modern technology. BioPro Technologies' cutting-edge product line is the smart way to live in our age of EMF dependency. So start with yourself and your loved ones. Order BioPro's revolutionary products today.